Today's telecast. This is God in Celestial Church of Christ. Thank you for tuning in to the reporter's ministry today. My name is Olushola Demola. It is a good thing to be here with you again. And I want to continue from where I stopped last week. Mary in her blessedness, part three. Mary and her blessedness, part three. I have told you the levels of blessings that Mary carried. She carried the blessing of being the mother of Jesus and also she carried the blessing of being a member of the church. Someone who obeys the Lord, who believes in Jesus Christ and receives the gift of the Holy Ghost because the Bible says, rather blessed are they which hear the word of God and keep them. When the woman said to her, Jesus in Luke 11 saying to him Luke chapter 11 and verse 27 and 28 the woman said to Jesus oh blessed is the womb that bare thee and the parts which you which give you so and Jesus Christ said yes that's true but rather blessed are they which hear God's word and do them and I concluded with you on the note that Mary entered into all the blessings of a female, of a woman, that a woman can enter into. One, being a woman. Two, being the mother of Jesus, which no one can ever be. She's the only one carrying that kind of a blessing among all women. And three, being a faithful follower of the Almighty God. Not just a vessel that was used and thrown away, but the vessel that was used and remained in the kingdom. Glory to God for Mary. Now today, I'm looking at the part three of Mary and her blessedness. And in this blessedness, I want to talk about influence. Mary's influence. Mary's spiritual influence. You know, there are many who believe that Mary can intercede on their behalf. You know, before Jesus. She can intercede. She can influence Jesus. She can influence heaven. She can influence God. She can do, play some spiritual roles in their lives and so on and so forth. You know, and then that makes them to revere her above what was written about her. They have exalted her one way or the other in their heart to a status. The status of God. So Mary was actually a goddess in the heart of son. And they also, in ignorance, gave her several names, like Queen of Heaven, Mother of God, and um, Mother of Savior, Mother of the Church, Mother of this, a lot of titles like that that they have given to Mary, believing that Mary can influence Jesus. If they want him, want God or Jesus Christ to do anything in heaven, and they are asking them, Jesus, or asking God, and God is not answering. I have my reasons for talking like this, asking God, you know, the Almighty God, God the Father, and or uh, God the Son. They want the Son to do something for them, Jesus, or they want God the Father to do something for them. And they are not so to speak. Responding as they ought to. 
So they can go to Mary and say, Mary, do this, do this, do this. And Mary will go and influence the son. That is an error. It's a heresy. Mary never assumed that status. And let me tell you something, brethren, for those of you who cares to know the truth. In the blessedness of Mary, Mary is not in heaven. Mary is in the place of the dead. Specifically, Mary is in Abraham's bosom, waiting for the day of resurrection. Only one individual ascended into heaven body, and that is Jesus Christ. Only Jesus ascended into heaven in Acts chapter 1. The Bible says after he has said these things, he was taken up from them, you know, and the cloud received him out of their sight. That's the only human being in heaven. The only one with an incorruptible flesh in heaven. Okay, the scripture is very clear. Flesh and blood shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Carnality, human being will not inherit the kingdom of God. So Mary is waiting for the incorruptible body. That one does not survive by blood. It doesn't survive by blood. It survived by the word of God. It survives by the spirit of God. It survives by the breath of the almighty God. So when God breathed into Adam in Genesis chapter 2, Adam became a living soul, was alive. In Job 32, it says that the spirit of the Lord has made me. In the book of Job, the spirit of the Lord has made me. Glory to God. The breath of the Almighty has given me life. Has given me life. There is a spirit in the man. And the inspiration of the Almighty gave it him understanding. So the incorruptible body does not survive by blood. It survives by the spirits. So every saint, beginning from Abraham to Mary, to the saints that died yesterday, and to the ones that will die before Christ will return in the sky, are all waiting for the resurrection of the body. They are waiting for the resurrection. And on that day of resurrection, they will resurrect with an incorruptible body. With an incorruptible body. And those who are alive on the day of the return of the Lord in the sky, with the sound of the archangel, with the trumpet of God, will be changed from the corruptible body to having an incorruptible body. So just to be very clear, Scripturally, Mary is not in heaven where she will talk to Jesus and say, do this for me or do that for me. She's in the place of the dead waiting for the resurrection to be partaker of eternal life, which God has promised, the God that cannot lie. Titus 1 verse 2, the God that cannot lie has promised this eternal life to those who believe in him. And Jesus has told us in John chapter 5, that a time will come that the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God. And those that hear the Son of God, the voice will live. They will live. Glory to God. Life is already at work in Mary. So Mary is expected to wake up. Hallelujah to Jesus. Secondly, I want you to know that Mary was not the only woman in the Bible that received that kind of commendation from heaven. Blessed are thou among women. No, Mary was not the only woman. There was a woman that is not very common, the woman that killed the enemy of Israel in the days of Deborah, the judge. This woman is by the name Jael. Jael, the wife of Heba. Judges chapter 5 and verse 24. Judges chapter 5, verse 24. 
in the New King James translation, let me start with the authorized King James that I'm used to. Judges chapter 5, verse 24. Blessed above women shall Jael, the wife of Heber, the Kenite, be. Blessed shall she be above women in the tent. I'd like to read that again. Blessed above women shall Jael, the wife of Heber, the Kenite, be. Blessed shall she be above women in the tent. Let me read for you from the New King James translation. New King James translation. Most blessed among women is Jael, the wife of Heber, the Kenite. Blessed is she among women in tents. Let me also read for you Amplified Classic. Amplified Classic. Blessed above women shall Jael, the wife of Heber the Kenite, be. Blessed shall she be above women in the tent. Glory to God. In the message translation, it says, Most blessed of all women is Jael, wife of Heber the Kenite, most blessed of home making women. Let me read that again. Verse 24. Most blessed of all women is Jael. Most blessed of all women. Is Jael. Hmm. Glory to God. Most blessed. New King James. Most blessed among women is Jael. So are we saying that Jael is greater than Mary? You see, the blessedness of Mary above women was in her time was in our days. I told you in the previous video. Among every Jewess who is a Bethlehemite, who is from the house of David, who was a virgin, who was a potential mother of Jesus Christ, Mary was the most blessed of them. And also for Jael. Jael, among all the women in her days, into whose tent that uh, uh, the king, uh, the enemy of Israel can run into. Among all those women, Jael is the most blessed. Glory to God. Jael is the most blessed. Blessed. Why? Because he asked for water, verse 25, and back to Judges 5, 25. He asked for water, and she gave him milk in a bowl fit for a king. She served him cords. Verse 26. Her left hand reached for the tent peg, her right hand for the woman, for the workwoman's hammer. She hammered Sisera. She shattered his call, she smashed his head. She drove the tent peg through his temple. That is Judges 5, 24 to 26. Glory to God. Among every tent that Cicera can run into, God chose the tent of Heba and positioned the wife of Heba, Jael, there. So, there are several houses or tents, if you prefer that, several tents that Sisera can run into. Most of the men are out in battle. So, 
their wives are at home. She can as well enter into the next tent and not that of Heba. She might as well enter into the third one, the fourth one, the one opposite, the one before, the one at the right hand, the one at the left. There are several things, but God guided Sisera into his humiliation, into the hands of Jael, just like Deborah, the prophetess, prophesied that the glory will be for a woman. Praise God forevermore. And in the faithfulness of God, God chose Jael. Why? Why? Because she was the favored in that day or in those days. The favored among all women. So because of this great task that she did for God, just like Mary, the mother of Jesus, was chosen by favor and the grace of the Almighty God to bear Jesus Christ in our womb. Jael also was chosen among all the women in Israel in those days. Her tent was chosen among all the tents in those days. And she was the one that was given the privilege to kill the enemy of Israel. She drove the peg into Jael's, into Sisera's temple and shattered his skull and he died. God might as well choose another woman, but he chose Jael. So in this task, concerning this assignment, Jael, you are the most blessed among all women, above all women. God has chosen a woman to deliver Sisera into her hand. And so it was you, oh Jael, you are the most blessed. Deborah also, who was saying all these things, was also blessed. To be a female judge in Israel. So every woman like Eve, Deborah, Jael, and uh, Ruth, and uh, that prostitute now, Rahab, and several others, Mary, they have their blessing. Therefore, in the kingdom of God, which one is the most blessed? Is it Jael, or Sarah, or Eve? Or Mary, the mother of Jesus? Who is the most blessed among them? They all carry blessings. Not only Mary. They all carry blessings. So how do you think that Mary is the one that has the spiritual influence over Jesus? And you see, Celestia, in, the, in your holy Mary days, you beseech Mary to go and twist the hand of Jesus for you. You beseech Mary. Some of you beseech her to give you husband. You beseech her to give you wives. You beseech her to do this for you, to bless you, to do this and do that. That is idolatry. That is idolatrious. You are already making her another god. She's already a goddess to you. There is no name given under heaven by which we can be saved other than the name of Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 4, verse number 12. Glory to God. So Jael was most blessed among women in her days, among them that were chosen by God through favor to be the one into whose hand Sisera would be delivered. Mary was most blessed in her days because God chose her to be the mother of Jesus. Sarah was most blessed in her day because God chose her to be the mother of faith. Glory be to God forevermore. Glory be to God forevermore. Eve was most blessed among women because she was the mother of every mankind. 
the mother of everyone that has ever come into this world, including Mary. So if Mary has the greater influence or greatest influence among God women, what about Eve that gave birth to Mary? And if we are going to say, oh, it's Jael, according to Judges 5.24, what about Eve that gave birth to Jael? Glory to God. What about Sarah that gave birth to Mary? What about Sarah that gave birth to Jael? Let me tell you something. In the kingdom of God, people only enter into the blessing that God has prepared for them. That, is, that was the reason why Jacob never stole the blessing of Esau. Jacob only received the blessing that was given to him by God. The blessing was for Jacob. It was Isaac who wanted to give it to Esau. You cannot steal another man's blessing in the kingdom of God. You cannot. The blessing was never for Esau. The blessing was for Jacob. Because according to the word of God that was told to Rebekah, he said the younger will be greater than the elder. The elder will serve the younger. Two nations are in your womb, the Bible says. But the younger shall be greater than the elder. Glory to God. And that was why, after the whole thing, Isaac was not angry to curse Jacob after the blessing. That was the reason. Nobody can steal another man's blessing in the kingdom of God. You only enter into the blessing allotted to you, a portion for you. Mary entered into hers. Jael entered into hers. Sarah entered into hers. And you too. If you walk faithfully, the favor of God will also make you to enter into your blessing. And that's my prayer for you. That's my prayer for you. Glory be to God. There are three levels of feminine blessing. Three levels of feminine blessing. One, that you are a female, it's a blessing. That you are a female, it's a blessing. It's a favor for a man to have a wife. That you are a female is a blessing on its own. That you carry out an assignment for God is a blessing on its own. And also for being a member of the church of Jesus Christ is a blessing on its own. Mary was a female. She carried the blessing. Blessed are thou among women. Because God favored her. And she was qualified in the first place because she was female. Number two, Mary delivered Jesus. She received that privilege to carry the blessing of running and executing that great assignment on the behalf of the kingdom of God. And finally, she was also blessed because she was a member of the church. You too, you are blessed as a male. You are blessed as a female. Every man born in truth into the kingdom of God is blessed. Every woman born in truth into the kingdom of God is blessed. So you carry a blessing for being a male or being a female. You don't have to change yourself from being a male to a female or from being a female to a male. You don't have to, as a male, dress like a woman. As a female, you don't have to be like a man. You don't need to convert it. It's a blessing on its own that you are a female. If you are able to fulfill your purpose in life, it's a blessing. That God finds you to be usable. That he can run an assignment through you on the earth. It's a blessing on its own. So, for you also to be a member of the body of Christ, a Christian, it's a blessing on its own. And for those of you who are celestials, true celestia, you are a blessing. And you are blessed for being so. Glory be to God forevermore. So these three levels of blessings, Mary entered into. Every other woman on the face of the earth will enter into these blessings. Every other woman on the face of the earth will enter into these blessings. Blessing. You may have a question at any point in time. 
please write it under the comment section and they will be adequately answered. Glory to God forevermore. Let me read Judges chapter 5 verse 24 again and close with this. The most rewarded, I'm reading from New English Translation. Let me go back to the King James. Blessed above women, above women, the Bible says, shall Jael, the wife of Heber, the Kenite be. Blessed shall she be above women in the tent. All the women that are present in their tent in those days. Deborah was not in her tent. Deborah was with the captain of the army of Israel. She followed her to the battle. So Deborah, the judge, the prophetess, the wife of Lapidot, does not qualify for this blessing because she was not in the tent. God is looking for women in the tent. A woman should be in the tent. And there are women, several of them, in their tents in those days. But God guided Sisera into the tent of Heba to go and meet Jael. Asked for water, but she gave her milk. And then, you know the end of the story already. That was a great deliverance God wrought through her. Praise God. Jael was a deliverer. Oh my God. Jael, a deliverer, a female, a deliverer. Let me tell you, brethren, if you stay with God, you will fulfill a calling, a purpose you have never dreamt of. Never dreamt of. Glory to God forevermore. Glory to God forevermore. Now let me read also for you uh, Luke chapter 2, verse 26. Luke chapter 2. Sorry, Luke chapter 1, not chapter 2. And verse 26, we go back to what um, Gabriel said. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Verse 27. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. Verse 28. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hey, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Glory to God forevermore. Thank you for tuning in into the reporter's ministry today. My name is Odoshola Demola. I'm singing the two hymns I've sang before, and I will close with that. Enyarani no Christi. Egbe ori soki. Ke si bo, onti jiova nso. Ere di ere tefi wa nino i jomi mo yi. Ere di ere tefi wa nino egbe la yi. Ki Maria Iyawa set for an example for us. Kole ma asin walo. Iyawa ni Maria o. Kole ma asin walo. By example, she's our mother. Glory to God. Ken ni mi more re yi. Kole ma asin walo. And also, him 883. Him 883. 883. Glory be to God forevermore. It says, Maria, Iyamimo, you see that? Iyamimo, Irene, Beke, Lewa, Ronwalo, Woda, Bobowa, Nitori, Ogure, Iyamimo, Maria, Iyamimo. This is the blessed of Mary, blessedness of Mary, rather. And I've showed you the three levels of the feminine blessing and also the, discuss with you the, influence of Mary. Mary is awaiting resurrection. So, focus on Jesus, call upon him, pray in his name. You will have your request answered if you pray in the name of Jesus and if you believe. The Lord be with you and bless you. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Oh.